going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 ultimate team video we got early reveals for the free agency promo which will be dropping in game later this afternoon let's go ahead and jump right on into it. a lot of cards to go over i'm going to start with probably the biggest w of the entire promo and it's going to be a free welcome pack 97 overall kendall fuller now when you first log into the game after this promo goes live you're going to get a welcome pack that contains a lower overall kendall fuller and you're going to be able to upgrade this card via solo challenges and the field pass so it's like most cards that you get when the welcome pack there's going to be tokens that you have to earn again in solos and the field pass once you earn those tokens and apply it to the upgrade path on this card he eventually will get to this 97 overall which as is is a pretty good looking card 97 speed 95 man 97 zone press agility jumping play rec all pretty solid on this card he is only 5 foot 11 i think he makes the perfect slot cornerback abilities wise he's going to get flat zone ko and pick artist for zero ap unfortunately in the same bucket so you have to pick one or the other and then the other discounted buckets basically going to give you short mid or deep route knockout for one ap which is more of a man coverage ability he is a zone coverage archetype but i kind of like what they did with his discounts where both types of defenses can use this if you play a lot of man you have some good options there if you play a lot of zone you still have good options there so i'm not mad and the best thing about this entire card is that it gets any 32 nfl team chem so you can put this on any theme team obviously not promo theme teams but any regular theme team and potentially get this card up to 99 speed for free so we got a bunch of lower overall cards that i'm gonna breeze through one thing i do want to point out though is like noah brown played for the texans this past year and for whatever reason they have him in a cowboy card r and cowboy chem on the card all cards including existing cards that are 80 plus will get an update on their new team chem so for example russell wilson whatever existing cards that he has out there they will get the pittsburgh steelers chem and that update for all players should be taking place today i believe when this promo goes live so noah brown you know already should have texans chem to choose from despite this card coming with a baked cowboys chem on here which is dumb uh and then the other one is gardner Minshew, right he did not play for the eagles this year he played for the colts so he should still have the colts team chem he should also get the raiders chem on this card because that's what we signed for and all of these updates will be live later this afternoon on these new cards that we're going through and pre-existing cards i'm not about to break down all of these 88s and i think we have 91s after this we will show you the sets on how you're going to get these cards so for the 88s any three 86 or 87 overall cards from any promo you put those into a set in return you're going to get a fantasy pack that lets you pick one of those 88s of your choice onto the 91s only got four of them here these are mostly just going to be theme team fill for a lot of you out there so if they met any of your theme team needs like darnell mooney who is now an atlanta falcon you know this might be able to help you get closer to or get to that 50 50 theme team that you may have been chasing after as far as the set requirements for the 91s you're going to put any 588 overall free agency cards into this set in return you get a fantasy pack that gives you the 91 of your choice now on to the better card so good news about the 94s is that they're gonna get double team chem so t higgins for example here right now he's still with the Bengals. if he hypothetically signed with the seahawks i'm just throwing a random name out there you would have the option to give him two team chem so he could have Bengals and seahawks chem together or he could have double seahawks theme team chem so basically whatever team any of these guys sign with as a new team they can get double team chem and this is going to be all 94s 97s and the 98 overall ltds and you are going to be able to get one of these 94s for free so later on we will break down uh, in a separate video the best 94s to choose once we have all of the abilities in front of us all the attributes and i can compare players uh here's kirk cousins again using that example you could go vikings and uh falcons team chem on this card so double team chem if you're crazy enough to be rocking a viking slash falcons hybrid theme team this card is your perfect quarterback for you you can also go double or times two falcons team chem i believe you can also go vikings no excuse me washington and uh vikings team chem as well no washington and falcons team come together i don't think you'll be able to do like washington and vikings it has to be for the new team that he played for i'll be curious to see what abilities and what release this card gets if it's going to be you know a budget quarterback for people to use marquise brown is the next one up here 97 stocks speed on this card so a lot of you are going to be able to get him to 99 speed if you're using the card pretty good catch ratings the route running is good enough especially the deep route running this is going to be a good budget option 
or a really good free option from that free fantasy pack for a kick returner to last you through the rest of the year. Defensive tackle, DJ Reader, 92 strength, 92 tackle, 95 block shed, power move at 88, Speed is terrible. I mean, I know he's a bigger guy there, but 76 speed is pretty low and only 71 finesse moves, so not a great card there. Uh, Gerald Everett, 93 speed tight end, 92 mid-route running, 93 deep. Run block and strength stink. Uh, catch and traffic spec catch pretty bad, too, for a 94 overall, so that one doesn't look good. Frankie Luvu, 94 overall, left outside linebacker with 90 speed, 94 block shed, 69 power move, 80 finesse move. I'm just not a fan of these cards looking at them right now. Uh, this will probably be a good pickup for a free option because it's a center. I know a lot of people probably have team captain Kevin Mawai out there. You might be able to use those tokens on a different player now. Connor Williams, 95 strength, 94 awareness, 92 pass block, and 96 run block. Not too bad for a free option. Uh, Josie Jewell, 91 speed middle linebacker, 90 block shed, 94 tackle, 86 zone, 89 hit power. Here's another good free option, Damian Lewis. If you need a left guard, 95 strength, 91 awareness, 92 pass block, and 94 run block. A Dory Jackson, who has yet to sign with anybody. Cornerback with 95 speed, 96 man, 92 zone, only 88 press, agility, acceleration, pretty good. And as far as the 94s go, you're going to get them by trading in any 591 overall free agency cards. You put those into a set in return to get a fantasy pack that allows you to pick any one of those 94s we just went over. Now on to the 97. So we start with future Eagle, at least hopefully, Devin White. And there's a few things going on with the 97. So they will get double team cam. Again, just hypothetically, he signs with the Eagles. He could get two different buckets that give you Eagles cam. You could also go Bucks and Eagles. But they're also supposed to get all 32 team cam. So it's unclear to me, again, if he hypothetically signs with the Eagles, would I be able to get times three Eagles on the card? Would you be able to go one Eagles, one Bucks, and then one of whatever other theme team you want? Are there going to be three buckets? Because they basically said the team that the player signs with, that chem will be baked in. So I think time will tell once the cards hit in game. This card doesn't look too bad, though. 96 speed, 98 hit power, 94 block shed, 90 zone. He's got the good height there. He's going to get lurk artists for zero AP. I think mid zone KO is one AP on this card. So I actually really do hope that he signs with the Eagles. But even if he doesn't, he gets all 32 team chem. So he could be an Eagle if I want him to be. And he could be on whatever theme team you're rocking if you want him to be. That's going to go for all of these cards. So just add plus two speed to all of the ones we're looking at. Josh Jacobs here, new Packer, could have 99 speed along with 99 change of direction. Trucking and break tackle are really good. At the end of the day, Bo is going to be the best running back back in the game because these cards are not getting any type of pre-lit or uh, any type of x factors that turn on without you actually earning it so no unstoppable force sorry no angry runs unstoppable force is the best one on defense very good card if you want it for a theme team it's going to be good but bo jackson's going to be the best running back in the game cameron curl pretty solid looking card wish he was maybe a little bit faster more of a sub linebacker here but he does have 93 man 96 zone 92 hit power tackle and acceleration are good i think he's six foot or six one decent card there michael Pittman jr was one of the teaser images from last night i think it was pretty obvious 96 speed wide receiver you can potentially get him to 98 speed on a full theme team the jumping's at 99 which i don't don't know how much that really matters to be honest uh catching is all good route running is very good I, you know if this card was 97 speed he'd be one of the better wide receivers in the game just because he's so well rounded uh chidobi awuzie gets one 96 speed corner with 98 zone and 93 man coverage i didn't get all of the abilities written down but there will likely be an inch uh, you know a point in today's video later this afternoon where i point out the better cards maybe we even make a best 97s video as well here is dalton schultz 95 Five speed tight end i feel like this might actually be a little bit of a slept on card here because the catch ratings are good especially catching traffic uh the route running is good enough there and he has 89 run block if you like to run the ball very well rounded tight end card here so this one might be worth a look at and you can get him up to 97 speed on any team chem or any theme team because he's going to get all 32 nfl team chems here is brian burns who would get double giants team chem since that's his new squad i did hear that he gets double or nothing for one ap which is the best nine x factor pass rushing ability in the game so 95 speed with the 96 block shed 93 power move 97 finesse move and 97 tackle this is probably one of my more favorite cards out of the group that we've gone through so far in the 97s and the last 97 is going to be mike awenu 96 strength right tackle 94 awareness 99 pass block and 95 run block 
not bad at all. I didn't hear if he gets Secure Protector at a discount or if he gets it at all, but that looks like a pretty good card. As expected, with any of these 97 overalls, you're going to need 594s to complete the set. From any promo, you put those into the set. In return, you get a fantasy pack, so each player is not going to have their own individual set. There's just going to be a fantasy pack that allows you to pick any one of those 97s that we just went over. And we got four LTDs that will be in packs. Two of them were revealed last night. Danelle Hunter, outside linebacker, 94 speed, 95 block shed, 98 finesse move, 96 tackle, 97 acceleration. Looks like a pretty good card. I wouldn't pay like top price for it, but it looks like a solid one. This is probably the best card that's dropped the entire day. And again, all of these cards will get all 32 team chems, all of these LTDs. So Mike Evans is pretty much 99 speed. He's six foot five. Jumping is good. The catch, catch and traffic, spec catch is all good. The route running is good. He doesn't really get any good abilities, but to me, you don't really need many abilities on wide receivers this year. He does get deep out elite for one AP, which would probably be the best bet there. He gets red zone threat. Would have been much better if he got it for zero, but I think it is going to be one AP. But over Overall, this appears to be the best card out of the entire drop that came out. Uh, Stefan Gilmore is another good one, a pretty solid 97 speed cornerback here, 99 press, 98 man, 94 zone. He is a man to man archetype, but unfortunately, pick artist and deep route KO are in the same ability bucket. Uh, and if you want to go like pick artist mid zone KO, you certainly can. So this card is going to more so benefit people who play zone a lot, and that would cost you one AP, by the way. So solid card, just wish it had better abilities. And the final LTD is a left guard. Yay, exciting. 99 strength, though. 99 awareness, 96 pass block, 96 run block. The thing here is that, to me, Quentin Nelson is a better guard at left guard because he gets Omniscient for 2 AP, which is Identifier plus Blitz Raider, or sorry, Threat Detector, altogether for 2 AP. So this card is, is a hard pass for me. And that's it. Those are the cards. So I know what you're thinking. I know what I was thinking. No Saquon, no Bryce Huff, no CD Deuce. I'm sure you can name a bunch of players like no Xavier McKinney, no Russell Wilson. There's a ton of bigger name free agents that did not get cards. And this is not going to be a multiple part promo. Maybe they surprise us with some additional LTDs, but we're not going to see any more heroes or champs. We do have a field pass. We talked about the upgrade tokens to get that Kendall Fuller card. Here are all of the rewards. I'm not mad at no free 97 at the end of the field pass for two reasons. Number one, it looks like it's a very small field pass. I'm happy it does include season XP as well. And number two, we get a free 97 from the welcome pack. So basically in this promo, which is a one week promo, we get a 97 and a 94 for free again not mad at that just a little disappointed on the choices of the players that they went with on the 97s and the 98s on the flip side you know if you think about it like this they get any team cam so basically all of these cards are for anybody's theme team that can be saw it as a positive but i just felt like there were some bigger names needed from this promo to give it a little bit more excitement so i think the sentiment here from myself and probably a lot of you and you can leave it down below in the comment section is that this promo stinks it's not very exciting also not a great time to have a bad promo with mlb the show coming out tomorrow so uh ea you got to do better on this one i don't know how they can fix it at this point ultimate legends on saturday i think the big promo next week is going to be the start of sugar rush which hopefully will be one of the better promos of the year but for now you know when the content drops we got you covered with the video we're going to take advantage of all the free content but just feels a little underwhelming thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace